Okay, let's talk about neuroblastoma. Nephrom, my bad. Nephroblastoma. Well, nephroblastoma also called Wilms tumor. Most common renal malignancy of early childhood. Wilms tumor, childhood malignancy, age 2 to 4. Contains embryonic. The issue is we have embryonic glomerular structures. Most often presents with large, palpable, unilateral flank mass and or hematuria and possible hypertension can be associated with loss of function mutation of tumor suppressor gene WT1 or WT2. So Wilms tumor 1, Wilms tumor 2 on chromosome 11. WT1, WT2 on chromosome 11, Wilms tumor. Maybe part of several syndromes could be part of other syndromes. One thing is vagor complex in which you have the Wilms tumor, you have the aniridia, which is the absence of iris, genito urinary malformations, range of developmental delays, and that is all due to WT1 and deletions. Or the other um, syndrome could be associated with is the Denny's Trash syndrome, when which you have the Wilms tumor, diffuse mesangial sclerosis, early onset nephrotic syndrome, dysgenesis of the gonads, male pseudohermaphroidism, and WT1 mutation again. Then you have the Beckwith Wadyman syndrome, in which you have. Wilms tumor, macroglossia, organomegaly, hemihyperplasia, which is imprinting defect causing genetic overexpression that is associated with WT2 uh, mutation, also in fellow seal. So these are all the syndromes that are associated with Wilms tumor. So if you have any of this, you can find Wilms tumor which is seen in childhood, it, it is due to the fact that we in the child contains the embryonic glomerular structures that is going to present with large palpable mass with hematuria and possible hypertension, hypertension in childhood due to the fact that there is a, a loss of function mutation of the tumor suppressor gene WT1 and WT2. So that's all about the Wilms tumor, which is nephroblastoma.